Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider, back again with another video today, and today, today we're going to be talking about uh, Comicsgate's new secret language that no one, not, no SJW seems to be able to compute. It's, it's pretty much um, back in the day, okay, back in, uh, during World War II, I believe it was. Uh, the United States was working, you know, trying to make a new type of language. They were trying to, you know, Japan was breaking every single code in the book. And then America finally just said, you know what, screw it. Uh, we'll use a language that they've never heard of before. And so they pulled out Navajo. Navajo, uh, and eventually, you know, the wind talkers came up. Well, humor is our, our wind talker language. It's our Navajo. It's now become to the point where we can make a joke that anyone involved, anyone that's been near Comics Gate would immediately figure out and get. But these morons here do not have enough brain power to figure it out. They they don't understand humor, and it's one of those things that just doesn't compute uh, with SJWs. <clears throat> and we're seeing it now with Renfamous. Uh, if you could go into her little chat yeah, you can go into her little twitter page like i'm i'm going in here it's nothing fancy going in all right most people use incognito mode me i've got another account that doesn't i don't make any comments on that just goes in just looking around and nobody knows who it is <laughs> it's named so it's got like an sjw name to it and whatnot but th this is the joke that they're not getting it's a joke in which on here it's about feminists coming in uh you know, the circle of diversity in meme form, pretty much. Um, blue hair feminist asks if they can be part, demands, you know, asks if they can be part of the space. They let them in. First mistake of every hobby. Do not let the blue haired people in. Then they're like, oh, this this is uh, too difficult. We, we want to change it. There's something that we don't like. And then third panel, someone says, well, you know what? Uh, we don't, we, we do this. For years, this is how we've always been playing it. And some some D and D games last for a very very long time. They usually just keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing. Just make up new scenarios for them and just recycle the old characters. You know, <clears throat> these characters have this, and they're they're just using those characters over. Then it's to why are you excluding me? Someone actually, I can't remember where it is. I wish I could find it. Someone did a, a continuation where they finally kick the dude out and they break out Monopoly and they kick the dude, the guy that originally let them in, kicked him completely out. So I, I wish I had that one. But this is basically, you know, SJWs, when they enter a hobby, I've said it before, they're like the Borg. When they get in, they just completely take over. But here's here's where it becomes Navajo language, in my opinion. Uh, whoever drew this has clearly never played D&D &D in their life. Yeah, okay. And here, com here comes SJW, Ren, unable to, to quantify humor, unable to decipher the Navajo language of humor, mind you. I wish everyone on Earth was excited and helpful as tabletop RPG fan who was just offered a chance to adapt <clears throat> a game for a new player. They think they're making fun of D&D. &D. This is where it's going. They don't realize, they know they're being made fun of, but they've completely missed the mark. They don't know what's going on here. So you've got Ren, you know, she's she's throwing her little fit here. Here's, here's someone goes in there on how it would actually happen which doesn't get humorous at all because to you got to remember to an SJW humor comics entertainment is a weapon it's a weapon that they if they see it they have to try and they don't know how to create this weapon they only know how to um assimilate this weapon it's kind of like how uh neanderthals would probably there's a theory that neanderthals would get a lot of their tools and stuff from higher functioning humans, they would take them, but they lacked the common sense and knowledge to make their own a lot of times. So when, when someone had like iron uh, weapons or whatnot, they, they didn't know how to make iron. They didn't know how to forge copper or anything. They could do stone, but then this metal known as like, you know, casting bronze and shit like that, they were unable to really mess with. So here we have the improvement. Can I play? Sure. This game's too difficult. Can we change it? Sure. <clears throat> okay, sure. Hell, we can pause the current campaign and do a one shot to teach you the rules nat 20 20 nat 20 woohoo later so th this is basically it's it's not humorous at all this is just oh well we're gonna we're gonna correct this to what it really should be like it's kind of the if you also see the thing where they get mad at who is it james campbell 
Yes, James Campbell. I am correct in that. They get mad at James Campbell, who, uh, you know, he draws the sexiest women out there. And then they say those women are not realistic. And they want to make the world, oh, you know, make it exactly like the world is. That's not what entertainment is. Entertainment's supposed to be, you know, a fantasy to some extent at times. Or it's, it's two, or you're going out there watching two people beat the crap out of each other in a ring. But, uh, yeah, here it, here it is. We're going to make it like the real world. But we don't understand the humor, so we, we don't understand what's actually being said. They missed the joke entirely. It's... It is basically, yeah, this is my experience. Can I play? Sure. This game is too difficult. Can we change it? You don't need to read the whole book now. That's what I'm here for. Can I be a dog? Sure. It's like, it's almost, it's somewhat funny, but the problem is he's responding to a joke that has nothing, that really is just using D&D as an example. And they just don't know how to push, they don't know how to push a narrative or they can't translate this nonsense. And again, we have more people. I've always known tabletop RPG players to be incredibly welcoming. When I was playing D&D for the first time, first thing my DM did was go assume the rules don't exist, come up with a cool character that you like, and you will enjoy role playing. We can figure out the rules later. Well, this would be great, except nobody's talking about D&D. What they're using this as, as an example. They don't understand humor. And I've stated this before. The reason why you don't get any new characters, the reason why we don't get good stories, is because these idiots, one, their stories always have to be super political, which is not entertaining at all. I mean, it's it's like the only time a presidential debate is funny or even entertaining is when someone starts, is either when someone gaffs, I like when... Uh, the only thing you remember from presidential debate is when one person verbally bitch slaps the other candidate really hard. Okay. <laughs> it's like, Ooh, it's like one of those Russian bitch slaps you see where the guy, he's sitting there and one dude's saying something. The other guy is just warming his hand up. So it doesn't sting him as badly when he cracks that dude across the face. And then, and then he hauls off and hits him with a bitch slap so hard. It just knocks him the F out. Yeah. That that's this, this is, they're, they're not getting it. They're, they're not understanding how entertainment works. And then on top of that, every character that has to be made is either a different Tumblr version of that original character, which has different colors, or they're taking a character that already exists and they're just SJWing it up. It's sort of like, um, let's see, Iceman now has to be gay. Wolverine's going to be hit with a big G. Um... Scott and Wolverine and Gene are now in a platonic relationship. Tony is not as intelligent as he was before. Um, yada, yada, yada. We've got Gogurt Hulk, um, and then your Gordon Good brothers go, running around. I mean, Captain Marvel used to be Miss Marvel. Car They're both Carol Danvers, but for some reason now it's got to be Captain Marvel, and she's got to be drawn in the most manliest-looking way possible. It's like, come on now. Have you, have you seen some MMA fighters? They're actually quite hot when they get in a dress. You put an MMA fighter in a in a fairly good outfit, and she looked fairly hot because she's fit. But like I said, the language of humor is the comics gate Navajo. They don't understand. SJWs cannot decipher humor. And so when they see it, it's this thing that they're just unable to work with. They they can't understand it. They can't quantify it. And Ren is just they're just proving that honestly, Comicsgate's going to win this war. I'm calling it now. Because right now, Comicsgate is going to create all the new stuff. And all these SJWs in the comics industry, they're just they're going to be imitating. That's all they're able to do. And they're going to imitate poorly. It, it's kind of like um, if you were to, to make an example. Some guy goes out there and builds like a rifle or something. And this other dude sees the rifle and he tries to build the same rifle look alike, but the internals are all completely different because he's having to rebuild the entire system. And also he's doing it in shittier conditions. And the guy that built the first gun is like, has 40 years of gunsmithing experience where this guy only has two. The guy with 40 years of gunsmithing experience is probably going to have the better gun. The other guy is just a cheap imitation. Um, but like I said, it's 
I guess a better example would be it's kind of like taking it's kind of like a company trying to take a console game or a PC game and trying to adapt it to a cell phone. It it ends up with a shittier product when you get finished with it. But like I said, it, they don't understand humor and comic skates going to win because we're going to keep making we're going to have new and original characters and probably by the time they realize that they should have been, you know, probably assimilating some people from Comicsgate and just paying them and letting them make comics to stay up. By then, Ethan Van Skyver may be buying Superman. He, he may buy the entire Green Lantern Corps and put it into the Cyber Frog universe. I mean, frick, that would that would just be awesome, you know. That would be amazing. Richard Myers with the G.I. Joe franchise. Holy shit. It would be a second coming of G.I. Joe. It would be the second golden age of comic books. I mean, we call it the diamond age of comics. What are you talking about? But anyway, folks, uh, tell me what you think about this in the comments. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, remember to hit the like button. That helps my videos. When you guys haul off and hit the like, I, I can tell when someone doesn't hit the like on my videos. Because when y'all hit the like button on my videos, I get a way more views than what I normally do. And that really helps this channel out. I'm trying to get this channel built. I want to get up there. I want to be one of those guys that you listen to on a weekly basis. Anyway, folks, I am the last Raider. <sighs> just keep speaking Navajo, folks. Just, just keep speaking Navajo. They cannot decipher it. That's all I got to say. Anyway, keep your head on a swivel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.